is it on? Do we have sound? <clears throat> Hello, children. Darwin Trotter here. You do remember me, don't you? You must remember saving me from that wretched island. Let's take a look back together. So far, I've seen no signs that anyone or anything lives here. I may have lost my team, but I am determined to explore this strange place. Come back, little furry friend. Hey, come here. Come here. My name. So overall, it doesn't seem like a bad place to, to stay, really. It's for... What's that? What the... Monkeys? Good heavens. There's animals here. I believe that I saw animals in the island. I wonder what that means in terms of life. What the heavens? What on earth is that? Stay away! Leave me alone! To the campsite and light a fire. It's getting pretty cold out here. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm sure you remember. It was thanks to you and that wonderful documentary that you made with me that I'm able to live in this glorious mansion on this island. Let's take a look back at some of my favorite parts. Looking down at the surface of the earth, it's impossible not to be impressed by the sheer splendor and power of the natural world. and welcome to the Discovery Channel. Today we are learning about the Arctic. Based in the far north, the Arctic is also home to lots of different animals. Hi everybody! Whoa! Look at this beauty! Welcome to planet Earth. Oh, look how cute and fluffy you all were back then. Time has not been kind to some of you, I'm afraid. Now listen here. I have some rather exciting news. I plan to come across... Darwin. Yes, my little cherub, just a moment. I'm just sending a message to the children. Darwin. can you cut the grass before the rain comes, please? Yes, my darling, in a moment. Let me just finish my message to the children. Darwin. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, my exciting news. I plan to come and visit you all in Barrack and Elmet for this year's Maypole Festival. I've heard that your curriculum this half term is all about pride in your local area. And you know what? Over the years, I've developed a real pride for Barrack and Elmet myself. So I've got a little gift for you, which I will share with you on my visit. 24 hours later. Well, it's time to say goodbye for a while at least, as I make my way from my mansion on this island to the land of Barrack and Helmet. Well, 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 here we are again in glorious Barrack and Helmet. Ever since the first time I came here, I promised myself I'd have to return for the Barrack Maypole Festival. So here I am, it's Monday, May bank holiday, where better to be than the beautiful land of Barrack and Elmet. I'm metres away from the world-renowned Maypole. And here it is in all its glory, the Barrack Maypole. Look at the silver fox, I've heard about that. But where the devil is everybody? Well, I've just gone into the post office to ask about the festival. She told me it's been postponed. I said, what? It took me hours to get here. Do you know what she said? She said, it's not my problem. Well, children, as the old saying goes, when life gives you lemons, chuck them right back. This will not be a wasted trip. <coughs> Hello, little doggy. Oh, you look just like my little fox back home. Oh, have I got a present for you? Do you like chickens? 
You like chicken? I've even come down to your school to say hello. There's nobody here. That was a bird. I waited around for a while until a kind man called Mr. Huff told me you were all on holiday. Oh well, may as well make the most of it while I'm here. While I'm here, I may as well make myself useful. Water the plants. I've just been chased off the school grounds by Mr. Huff and a woman called Mandy. But not before I managed to hide your gift somewhere in the school grounds. And in typical Darwin style, I have hidden some clues which will help you to find the gift. For now, make a start on your work. Go and celebrate pride in your local area. And later this week, I'll send you some clues which will help you to locate your gift. Good luck, Darwin out.